Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's June 11th, 2023, and it's time to harvest some of the garlic scapes. Um, so, as an extension of the, the, the growth cycle of garlic, one of the things they do do is they put out a stem with a flower that'll end up creating little bulbules, uh, which look like seeds, uh, ultimately. But uh, when, we, when the the scapes get to a point where they're starting to curl like this, one of the things we'll do is we'll come down and harvest them because at least in theory, the, uh, the garlic bulb will be bigger, more flavorful and all, at least that's the theory that, uh, that's been proposed for years. And uh, all we do is either we can use a knife, a pair of scissors or, or bypass pruners. I usually just give it a snap like that and leave this, the rest of the garlic, uh, as it is until we start losing the lower, lower leaves. As you can see, the first leaf is starting to turn brown now. We want three or four of these to start to turn brown before we go to harvest the garlic. But today what I'm gonna do is just harvest these. Uh, we'll have some stir fry. Some people will air fry them, uh, make pesto. Uh, 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 garlic scape mashed potatoes, a whole variety of, of different uh, sauteing and all. Uh, these don't store very well. You've got to get them when they're tender. Uh, the tip at the end of the flower can get very hard. So you usually cut off the, the, the part where I break it off and cut off the, uh, the extension from where the flower bulb is there. And, uh, and the rest of it, you just slice up accordingly, maybe run it through a food processor or whatever way you'd like to do it. There's lots of recipes online. I've got a camera that I've got mounted to my uh, neck here. I'm just gonna go down. This is gonna be a boring video and harvest more of these garlic scapes. So that's one of the projects this morning. I've got a nice clean bin here. These can get, be put right into the refrigerator when it's time. So, uh, we'll see what we can do here. You can pick these up in the farmer's market. Uh, some Asian grocery stores will have garlic scapes available. Or you can grow your own garlic. I always miss some when I'm doing this. But yeah, I can't say that there's any difference, significant difference in the size of the garlic when I do this. So when they're real young, they have to use two fingers to do it. I plant our garlic between uh, Halloween and Thanksgiving each year. This is the first year that we've done it here in these raised beds here. I've always done it in the third food force in the past. And uh, using the mulching on this bed has worked out really well. Chamomile in the pans really smells nice as I walk over it. See, no, no scape on that one yet. Some are a little retarded. Not quite ready yet. 
I do have to do some weeding in this area. And these beds start off at about 18 inches above the, uh, the path level when I first prepare these beds. Now they're down about a foot. Everything settles in life. And I see one on the way back, two on the way back. That one's from the other side. I love garlic. Garlic and onions, shallots, all delicious. I just find it easier just using my fingers to do this as opposed to using scissors or a knife. But many people prepare using, prefer using scissors or a knife. If I get my hands too full here, I'm going to start dropping some. The other thing that if you don't harvest the garlic scapes, when you're going and processing them, uh, curing the garlic, uh, getting it out of the beds, it can be a real pain in the butt because they're, these things will stand up straight. They'll straighten out with their little bubbles and all and uh, make it really difficult. It just makes the process a little bit more challenging because you have this very long garlic plant taking up more space when you are trying to dry it, cure it rather. Still very dry here. Not hot today, so that's nice. But it has been another drought that we got started here. When I am snapping these off, I'm be being very careful not to pull up on the plant at all. It's very important not to dislodge the root systems or start to detach the the garlic from the bulb that's below the surface of the mulch there.
Okay, I've got the center row pretty much, I think, in this side. So that's two thirds of the garlic. Working with garlic is a comfortable one <laughs> until I've got to harvest it or plant it. I've got some small ones down here. I'm not sure why. Some didn't do as well. We'll look at the variety. I got mostly white Russian garlic now. I still have some of the uh, champagne garlic, which gives you multiple small heads. So let's see, now I didn't separate two, two of the uh, garlic cloves when I planted this one, so they're a little bit slow. won't develop quite as well as the rest. So trying to get your cloves separated when you're planting them is really important. We've always grown way too much garlic for ourselves. We still have quite a bit in the root cellar. We'll probably grind it and dehydrate it. We have videos on that. Now I'll walk by here an hour from now and I'll notice three or four more scapes that are that I missed. Try not to incorporate a leaf when you go to snap these off. See, I missed one in the center row there. Yeah, see, I got a leaf when I do that. There's a couple more that aren't mature enough. They aren't sending up the, uh, the scape yet. So in a few days, come out and get some more. If they start standing up straight at all, it's too late. They're gonna be too fibrous. A little bit too unpleasant to consume when they're like that. Hey, I think I've got them all. Put these in the bin and do one more walk down and see if I see any more curlies.
any that are nice and mature and nicely curled and all, want to get those when you have the opportunity. Wow, maybe I did get all the ones that are at the appropriate state for harvesting. So these will go right in the refrigerator in the garage and Thea will process those in a little while or process some of them today. Okay, we got one nice little Sterilite container here full uh, from our three row short uh, permanent raised bed of garlic. Three rows in each one of the, in this bed. And uh, I think things look pretty good. I don't see any more scapes up at the moment. I just went down through it. And uh, <clears throat> These little tips here, these will just heal right over, harden off, dry out in about 48 hours. So that's it. Uh, pretty happy. Oh, you probably can't see this. Over between the elephants, all of the goslings there. They're getting big and they're fertilizing the property here. Fantastic. So. I'm going to go ahead and get these in the refrigerator and move on to the next project, but I just wanted to show you the harvesting of the garlic scapes. Uh, uh, Thea may end up doing a video. We've both been a bit overwhelmed lately uh, on doing a video. Finish your sentence, Kevin. Uh, doing a video on one of the ways of processing them and all. Certainly you can uh, dehydrate them and turn into garlic scape powder as well which is a beautiful flavor just like we do with the garlic cloves themselves so these could get put into a dehydrator dry them up put them through a food processor uh, grind them up into small particles and they are delicious not quite as potent a little bit more sweet uh, than most of the garlic sort of like what shallots taste like really really good so that's it for today's video. If you found this of value, please give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. Take care of yourselves and stay safe. Bye-bye now.